Since the day it opened in 1965, the Vivian Beaumont has been a grand experiment. Taking its place on the Lincoln Center Plaza beside the Metropolitan Opera, the New York City Ballet, and the New York Philharmonic, it was the first Broadway theater built since 1928, and the only one located outside the Broadway theater district. The idea was to create a repertory theater for Lincoln Center. The theater would be something like the National Theater of Great Britain. But there was no tradition at all in this country of such a theater. There were hardly any institutional theaters. It was just a different world. For 20 years, a succession of respected producers and directors tried to make the Beaumont work. Although there were a number of hits along the way, by 1978, the Beaumont was in trouble. And then the theater went dark for a number of years, and there was quite a lot of infighting. I mean, there is a mythological notion that whoever took it over one last time, if they couldn't make a go of it, that they were going to fill in all the bottom layers and turn the Beaumont into an indoor ice skating rink. Over time, it became clear that the challenge was not in the selection of plays, but in the design of the theater a unique collaboration between two legends, architect Eero Saarinen and set designer Joe Melziner. So you have an architect who is working with a major theater designer as a collaborator. The goal was to make the interior of the theater very, very flexible. And Joe and Eero couldn't agree as to what the future of American theater was going to be. So they had a titanic struggle back and forth and finally ended up with a compromise, which is a room in which you can have a thrust stage, which thrusts the performers out into the auditorium, or by changing the front of it, you can have seats facing a proscenium. Though the compromise was reached, the mechanics for converting the stage never worked, and the Beaumont became exclusively a thrust stage. It also is much more open. It's much more egalitarian. It doesn't have the fancy folderol of an old-fashioned Broadway theater, so it was much more of a high-class gymnasium than anything else. I did my first play at the Vivian Beaumont at Lincoln Center. I was 14, I was in ninth grade, and I would come home every night and I would complain about the director, the amazing Ellis Rabb, and how over the top he was, and I would show my mother this appalling stuff that he wanted me to do that was like, you know, kabuki, it was so big. And she was like, no, I think that looks fine, and you could maybe, a, a little more, maybe, you're gonna have to reach across the footlights. In 2005, Bartlett Shear came to Lincoln Center representing a new generation of directors who could adapt to stages like the Beaumont. The Beaumont Theater is the deepest theater in all of New York. An actor has an enormous ability to go from a huge epic space like when we did Light in the Piazza in Florence all the way down into the house itself where once I go past the proscenium, I then have another 30 feet of space that I can walk to complete intimacy with the audience because you can have the most delicate small moments against huge sweeping epic things. And it's one of the features that makes a thrust and the Beaumont Theater extremely special. The combination of conquering the architecture and turning it into a membership-based theater gave the Beaumont the commercial and artistic success its founders dreamed it would have. There is nothing like a day. In 2008, the Beaumont presented South Pacific, the first Broadway revival of this classic musical since it opened in 1949. I thought the show's plea for racial equality was interesting and as valid today as it was in the late 1940s. The great thing about doing a revival like that and what theater can do is it gives you a chance to explore your own history. And I think it landed and it was very moving, so we felt like we were a part of something doing it. The Vivian Beaumont Theater continues to bring distinction, not just to Broadway, but to the entire Lincoln Center Plaza. I'm proud that the Beaumont that was considered so unworkable and was dark for so many months is lit all the time. I think the Beaumont was the nut to crack, and we cracked it.